Well, I always ask myself, why am I still living here? a lot of the culture that brought people here in the first place and so the mission of Outcrown Session is to strengthen the connection between residents and the artistic community. So thanks y'all for coming out. Glass Bandits here tonight, they're playing two amazing sets and I'll hand over the mic to Ben and the gang. So I was born and raised in Austin. I've been here for the past 28 years. I have never left. Um, grew up with a family from Austin as well. I spent a lot of time outdoors. So being in Austin to me has always been about coming as you are. Like it doesn't matter if you want to wear flip flops or cowboy boots or heels uh, to the same event. Everybody's there. Everybody's welcome. And I, that part of Austin has really meant a lot to me. But the truth is that I just love everything that this town has to offer. It's got so many great outlets from outdoors to music to great people. Um, it's really fun. So much of the growth that Austin's gone through in the past two decades has displaced the reason that people came here in the first place, which is its artistic community and culture. With the influx of people, rising home prices, a lot of institutions and artistic individuals have had displaced the outskirts of the city. And rather than continue to kind of complain about the trend that was happening, I'd said, well, I'm probably obligated to do something about it. And so Violet Crown Session was really my individual way that I feel like I can contribute to reverse that trend and be a better steward of Austin's continued growth, because that won't stop. But to be more intentional about it. With music, I've got my own funnel. I scour town, the town for bands, and I first uh, go to one of their shows to, to see are they good live. I'll reach out to them, and see how easy they are to work with, and then um, make sure that what we're doing at our scale is a good fit for where they are as a band. Um, and so I've got kind of my own process for finding local bands, but I try to find music that's just accessible to everybody. <laughs> Will showed up at one of our shows at Far Out Lounge. I'm not exactly sure how he knew it was going on, but uh, he just came up to me after the show and we started chatting. And he, uh, you know, he told us he liked he liked our you know our sound and kind of gave me the the spiel about Violet Crown and what it was all about and kind of bringing that Austin music kind of weird fun music scene back alive. And uh, he asked us if we would play a show, and we were very very down to do it. I was pretty blown away kind of right from the start about how welcoming and friendly these really incredible bands were. Like right away they're like if you want to, if you need any connections or if you want to try to play a show, once you guys start, you know, get situated, you know, reach out to us and it's been kind of true throughout. Everyone's been really nice and very helpful in kind of getting us connected and integrated into the music scene. So it's been pretty sweet. Tiffany is 
kind of helping me personally branch out from music into art and having that broader definition of art be very central to the sessions. So the sessions are really an experience that are very immersive. So we pick a theme for every session that ties the band, their genre, their concept of themselves with art, whether it be a sculpture or a painting or some other interactive station under this theme. And so Tiffany's been instrumental in helping us think about what's the concept for every event that helps bring music and other forms of art all together in one package. I got involved with Violet Crown Will. Uh, Will's a childhood friend of mine and we also went to um, college together and had a bit of professional overlap and when I moved back from New York to Austin he said hey uh, we've seen the city change uh, and I'm really excited to figure out a way to get, uh, to get some of the culture back into what we love about the city especially as we grew up here um, and so we blended his love for music and my love for different art forms to create my like, found sessions which is an immersive experience that brings together um, different community members uh, to experience what makes awesome so magical. So at Violet Crowns, I'm our creative director, which means that Will finds the bands. Um, he's great at scouting and he's great at building those relationships throughout the city. And he comes to me and he says, hey Tiffany, here's this amazing upcoming band that I'm just so excited to showcase. And I'll take a look into their music and start to craft together um, a vibe or a theme, if you will. Uh, to which we then design the decor, um, the interactive stations, uh, we use it to find um, different uh, local artists to showcase and also just like we dress up at these events um, and that's a big part of it is just to have some fun um, and be a little silly and be a kid again and so that all comes together into um, a one night event that we put on. I measure our success first and foremost by how many members do we have in the community and how often are they coming back out to shows? Beyond that, are people having fun in the moment? And so to look out the crowd and see people connecting, they're having fun, and it's all eyes on the artists, all support there as a successful event. What I'd like to do is have a meaningful impact on the career success of artists that show up at Bob Crown Sessions, that if they're performing or exhibiting their art here, that it's seen as a milestone and their talent and their progress as an artist so that the name branding about account sessions could be helpful to them to promote themselves and get more traction.